This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Skillshare. In this After Effects tutorial, we will learn how to create a pencil scribble effect in After Effects and we won't be using any third party plugin. It's just 100% After Effects and super easy to make. So without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Before we start with this tutorial, do consider subscribing to the channel and press that bell notification icon so you always get notified whenever I post a new video. Alright guys, so here we are in After Effects and here you can see I have few files or few assets that I will be using for this tutorial which you can download from the project file. The link to download free project file is in the description below so make sure you download the project file before we get started with this tutorial. So let's move all these assets into a separate folder called this assets just to be a bit more organized. So let's start by creating a new composition. I'm going to keep it 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Let's call this render as our final render composition. So let's hit OK. Let's create one more new composition which is going to be our placeholder. You can use image or videos depending on whatever that you want to use for your project. I'm going to call this media underscore one and hit OK. Let's go into my assets and here I have a simple image that I downloaded from Unsplash. So I'm going to use that just like that. Looking good. Then what I'm going to do is drag this composition into a new composition and call this new composition so hit enter and let's call this p and w that is a black and white composition so let's jump into the b and w com that is black and white so i'm going to select this composition go into effects and preset and type in levels and apply that up then let's add threshold and finally, I'm going to add an invert. All right. So now let's take a look at what all these effects are going to help us with. So first of all, let's turn off the invert. So now we just have the threshold. And what this is going to do is extract the black and white or turn the image basically into black and white with lesser detail. Now you, now you can use tint to turn an image into a black and white image, but that is not going to help us or give us the similar result as the threshold because as you can see it extracts out all the unnecessary details and make the image look less detailed and that is exactly what I want. Now what I'm going to do, now what this is going to do is the white section is going to be visible and the black section is going to be transparent or invisible. So to do that I can extract this a bit more just like so. And the invert is going to help us to invert this. So basically the white section that is the person is going to be visible and the black section is going to be invisible. So now this is going to make much more sense when we move ahead with the next step. So let's drag the black and white composition into a new composition. Hit enter. Make sure you are in the project panel. Hit enter and let's call this pencil texture. All right. And then go into assets and presets. There we have a pencil texture. Put this below our black and white image. So you can see here we have it. Let's actually increase the size of this so it fits the complete comp. And then change the track mat of this. Make sure it's turned on. Change the track mat to Luma Matte. And now if I just turn on this um, toggle transparency grid, you can see only, only the white section is visible and the black section is invisible basically basically transparent and that is what we want looking pretty good maybe i'll increase the size of this a bit just like so so as you can see it's looking very nice now let's go back into our main render comp and let's add a paper texture for our background i can just scale that down a bit just like so and we can also lock that layer then let's drag and drop the pencil texture composition on the top of the paper texture just like that and on the top i'm going to drag in the brush animation so basically this brush animation is going to act as a reveal 
for our image. So first of all, let's select the pencil texture and change the mode and change the blending mode to multiply just like that. So you can see right off the bat, we get this really nice texture. Turn on the brush animation and change the track matte of the pencil texture to Luma matte. And now this brush animation is going to act as a reveal for our image, which looks pretty nice. Now what I'm going to do is select the brush animation, right click, go to time and time enable remapping. Let's pull this all the way out. And also I'm going to hit S unlink this and let's change this to minus basically minus 100 because I want the reveal to start from the bottom and then go to the top just like so and there we go pretty cool right now we need to add some more detail to this so what I'm going to do is let's create a new folder called this g underscore o1 that is group underscore o1 and this is a very important step so select the pencil texture and the black and white composition and drag it under group one let's call this underscore one and let's call this one underscore o1 all right and now what i'm going to do is let's create one more group one more folder called the g underscore o2 that is group 2 let's select this black and white let's select both of these composition hit ctrl d to duplicate them so now we have a copy of them and let's drag them into group 2 so now we have two copies and then what i'm going to do is drag the pencil texture o2 right over here let's pull this maybe around let's go 15 frames forward in time all right let's select the brush animation hit ctrl d to duplicate it pull this on the top and again change this to luma matte and the blending mode to multiply nothing really cool yet but let's pull this back and let's hit s let's set this to 100 and then if i go into the pencil texture 2 Replace the black and white underscore O1 with the black and white underscore O2, which is super simple. Hold Alt and let's drag and drop it on the top and it's going to replace it. Then I'm going to jump into the black and white composition O2, select the media and just tweak some settings in the levels. So now I want to change the way the levels look. So I want to add some more, more space for the white so much so a bigger portion of the image get revealed so that is looking good all right and now if i go back into my main comp so we can see we have the first reveal and then we have a second reveal on the top so maybe i'll move this to around one second so let's put pull these two layers back yep that is looking much better and as you can see it looks really really nice revealing some more details pretty cool before i proceed further with this tutorial let's take a look at today's sponsor skillshare skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creatives and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing and more. Skillshare offers class designed for real life so you can move your creative journey forward without putting life on hold. You can check out this animation course for motion design on Skillshare to learn more about motion graphics and animation. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to pricey in-person classes and workshops. The first 1000 people to click the link in the description below will get access to two free months of premium membership to Skillshare. So I'm going to do this one more time. And by the way, you can also select the pencil texture. I can go into effects and preset and add a fill just to add a, you know, a cool effect on this. You can see. We can add something like that and get a really interesting look. You can also turn this into a darker, you know, kind of a gray color. Looks cool, right? Maybe a bit lighter section. All right. Now let's repeat the same exact process again. So I'm going to select these two. Hit Control D. So we have black and white underscore three and pencil texture underscore three. Let's create a new 
let's create a new group a new folder again hit g underscore o3 so this is group 3 let's drag the pencil texture and the black and white comb into group 3 and i can just simply drag in the pencil texture 3 let's move to around 2 seconds place this right over here change the blending mode to multiply select the brush animation hit ctrl d put this at the top change the track mat to luma mat pull this back so we have a third animation just like so as you can see and then go into pencil texture 3 replace this with black and white 3 and then again tweak the levels a bit you can also play around with the threshold if you want to so i'll reveal a much bigger section of the image so as you can see it reveals much more details and looks good as well so i can again go on go in this add a fill and um let's make it black or oh, not too much of a black but something like that and i can go into the pencil texture let's um scale that down a bit that is looking good and at three seconds what i'm going to do is add the media composition directly right here and then in the assets i have an ink reveal footage so i'm going to drag that on the top select the media one track mat and change this to luma inverted mat so now we have the pencil texture reveal and the ink reveal at the end so maybe i'll may bring this a bit closer so around maybe two seconds 15 frames should be good position yep and there we go and simply i can add a simple scale animation to our image just to give it a nicer look so let's create a keyframe here go to 10 seconds and let's scale that up a bit so we have a little bit of movement you know let's see looking pretty nice so as you can see it's super easy to create an pencil sketch effect reveal instead of after effects without using any plugins and again you can download the project file of this tutorial link is in the description below absolutely free so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure you subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram at dope.motions all the links are in the description below i will see you in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out